from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. All right, welcome back. Well, definitely will be on the warmer side through the course of the weekend. You'll also notice that humidity uh, on the higher side as well, but still not too terribly bad. We will look to stay relatively dry and then a pretty big cold front arrives on Monday and we are talking some pretty chilly temperatures as we head into next week. So definitely a real taste of fall for sure. So let's take a look. First off, current conditions here in Lafayette. We are sitting at 85 degrees, uh, but notice dew points not too terribly bad in the 40s. So the air mass is comfortable. Relative humidity only at around 27 percent and lots of sunshine to go around. And we are talking clear skies uh, through the better part of the night. So here's the upper level pattern. And again, we are still uh, enjoying a pretty comfortable northwesterly flow aloft and uh, eventually at the surface we will see those winds coming out of the southeast so coming from the Gulf of Mexico and as a result humidity on the rise over the next couple of days, but eventually we will see uh, enough push in the upper levels coming down from the Arctic, and that's what's going to send in some pretty uh, chilly weather as we head into next week. But through this evening, overnight tonight, no major issues. If you are heading out for Friday night football, maybe festivals, Akatiens. again, temperatures eventually falling through the 70s. We'll get into the 60s a little bit later on this evening. We'll look to bottom out near 60 degrees first thing tomorrow morning, at least here in Lafayette, maybe some patches of fall in spots as well, so be on the lookout for that. And then another warm one tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures topping out mid to upper 80s. I think we'll get to 88 or 89 degrees for the official high. And we are looking at mostly sunny skies, so no major issues. Again, winds coming out of the south at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Pretty similar numbers tomorrow night. Heading into Sunday morning, lower 60s for most of us, and we will start to favor more of a partly cloudy sky into Sunday afternoon. I do think we'll see maybe one or two pop up showers by the afternoon, but rain chances only at around 10 to 20%. And then mostly cloudy skies as we head into Monday. Frontal boundary is going to be pushing through. Few showers with that front, but uh, not expecting much. And then again, much cooler weather behind that front to follow. Meanwhile, out in the tropics, we still have tropical storm Carl down here in the Bay of Campeche that will continue to move out. <clears throat> or southward, excuse me, into Mexico. Meanwhile, rest of the tropical Atlantic relatively quiet. We do have one tropical wave in the far uh, eastern Atlantic that has about a 10% chance to develop in the next five days, but not overly concerned with that. So again, feeling pretty good out there this evening. Overnight tonight, we'll see uh, lows dropping down. Upper 50s, I think, northern portions of Acadiana, but we will be near 60 degrees here along the I-10 corridor, and then likely similar numbers across the coastal parishes as well. After that cool start again, we will be warm tomorrow afternoon, mid to upper 80s, lots of sunshine to go around. And then here we go. Readings dropping for the most part in the lower even mid 60s first thing Sunday morning, and then we're right back up into the mid and upper 80s Sunday afternoon with more of a partly cloudy sky, but notice cooler temperatures lurking not too far away, and that will get here late Monday going through pretty much the entirety of the upcoming week. So 61, the projected low, least here in Lafayette. Overall turning milder, again with dew points on the rise. So you'll start to notice that through the course of the weekend. Maybe some patchy fog first thing tomorrow morning. Otherwise, mostly sunny and warm for our Saturday. We'll go 89 or so into the afternoon. Light suddenly breeze at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. 88 or so as we head into Sunday. Slight chance of a quick pop-up shower or two. Your rain chances at around, uh, we'll say, 10%. And then here we go. The main front pushes through late on Monday. Few showers with that front. We're still able to get into the mid 80s, but then temperatures are going to be dropping. Lots of sunshine for the rest of next week, but look at these readings. We're talking highs in the 60s and 70s overnight lows in the 40s. And if we're talking 40 degrees first thing Wednesday morning here in Lafayette, uh, we are definitely going to see some upper 30s sprinkled in there. Uh, especially across northern portions of Acadiana. So bottom line, feeling a little bit more like late summer this weekend yeah, here in Acadiana, Taylor, but we got to dust off those jackets and coats as we head into next week because feeling more like fall and early winter. Absolutely, I hear that. Thanks so much for that, Bradley. 